Hey guys, welcome back to the Tennessee Matt channel. Uh, I got something in the mail today. Do a little unpackaging here. We'll see what it is. I ordered this from wisetactical.com. I'll put a link in the description for it. Seen a lot of people talking about these online lately. I figured I would order one. If I liked it, order more. It's a hex mag for the AR-15. Let's take it out of the package here, get a little closer look at it. Now I've heard good things about these. Um, it is a polymer mag made in Colorado, not too far from Magpul. This one has the orange follower, anti-tilt follower, and uh, unlike Magpul, which uh, can be a little bit difficult to take down if you don't have a sharp point, knife, tip of a bullet or something, these you can take down with just your finger. Looks very similar to any other magazine you may be familiar with. Now these, uh, the base plate and the follower are interchangeable. You can get different colors in these. Say you run in 5.56 five, in one mag or one rifle, and a 300 blackout in another, or 6.8. Uh, you can interchange colors with your magazines. So far, I like the look of it. Got it like that. Made in USA. I don't know if you can see that on the camera very well. Uh, but they seem to be pretty well built. Let's see how it fits in the AR. Here. Locks up. Holds the bolt back on the last round. doesn't drop free from this rifle and that may just be the magazine needing to be broken in maybe after being dropped a few times maybe it will P mag over here to the side and that does drop free and have a black hawk I think this is either stainless steel or aluminum I'm not sure it also falls free. It's a little bit heavier too, obviously. So um, I'm taking this one out to the range later and get it loaded up. It is a 30 round magazine, so I will load it to 30 rounds and it should function. I like the way it looks in there. I like the ridges you got in the front and the back here and the uh, hex patterns on the side. They do make some vinyl grip tape to go on these as well. I may order some of that in the future. Get it to fall free. Okay. Put that right there. And now back to the company I ordered this from, Wise Tactical. They offered free shipping. This magazine was $11.99 and is the standard 30 round with the orange followers. And let me look at one thing here while I talk about it. Now, one thing I've heard about since these are made in Colorado, we'll see if this one has it. I don't think it does. I've seen in another video someone had bought one of these. I'm not sure where it was on the follower, but there was a serial number. And I assume that had to do with the fact that the magazine was made in Colorado. That does, as of right now, still have a magazine restriction. I believe the most you can legally own there now is, unless it's grandfathered in, obviously, is 15 rounds, which obviously is half of that. 
So I'm going to take it out to the range here in a little bit and uh, load up hex mag and put a few in one of these as well and see how it runs. Uh, uh, back to Wise Tactical. Uh, yeah, it's been a long day. Ordered this on Wednesday. They offer free shipping. Wasn't expecting it anytime real soon. Uh, I believe it came from Lawrence, Kansas. That's where they shipped it out from. And today is Friday, and it came in the mail today. I mean, that, that's is astounding. Uh, I, I totally did not expect that. I figured it would be at least Tuesday or Wednesday next week before it came. Uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, depending on how it functions at the range tomorrow, I'll most likely be ordering a few more. If nothing else, just to have a few around for an investment. When the poo does inevitably hit the fan again, because all those things are fairly calm right now. That will crank back up soon with the election coming, I imagine. So, $11.99, free shipping. Thanks to Wise Tactics. Alright, guys, right here at the range this morning. Uh, I'm going to test out the Hex Mag here, see how it functions. I've got 30 rounds loaded into it. Uh, just using some standard wool. 55 grain full metal jacket. See how she runs. Seems to be running pretty good. Uh, bolt flows just fine. I brought a couple more magazines out here to test as well. Got my Black Hawk metal magazine, stainless steel or aluminum, not sure. Same wolf ammo in it. Let's try this one. Alright, that one functions good too. Drop free. And we got a P-Mag as well. Same wolf ammo. No doubt this one will work. And drop three. And we'll finish off the rounds here in this X Mag. It's got the orange base plate, orange follower, which you can't see for the ammo. Locks up. And with ammo in it, it drops free. After playing around with it a little more last night, uh, even empty, I got it to drop free. I think it just needed scuffed up a little on the sides here. I'll finish it out and see what happens. And now it's dropping free. I figured that was a problem. Drops free. No damage to the mag. Seems pretty well built. Alright guys, that will pretty much conclude the testing today. Uh, I think I'll be buying a few more of those. Seems to be functioning perfectly. I'm going to run a few more mags through it here. Got some extra ammo. I'm going to fill it back up. And we'll see how it does. Thanks for watching.